If you've ever had the fear of a seal becoming a killer seal and then eating you and then killing you and then enjoying it, watch on. The story starts about two months ago. You see, Kyle and I are going to go kayaking, and we're going to go into the Puget Sound, and uh, we, were, we were excited because it was a beautiful Western Washington day. It was raining. And then all of a sudden, we hear something off in the distance, you know, and, our, and it's, we hear some seals. It's like, arr, 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 arr. Okay, that's more like a dog, but imagine it sounds like a seal. All right, and so anyways, we hear these seals, and we're looking around, and then we see them. We're over there, we're like, hey, Kyle, you want to paddle out? And he's like, yeah, man, let's go. So we start paddling, and paddling, paddling, and we're getting closer and closer and closer to these seals. And pretty soon we get there, and we see there's this big buoy. There's about 20 seals on the buoy, and there's about 20 seals in the water as well. And, and, and these seals are in the water, they're just kind of chilling, they're hanging out together. And uh, then we see we get really close. We're about 15 feet away, and or uh, uh, probably 30. I might be exaggerating a little bit. But anyways, there's these two heads. They're like the ringleaders or something. Okay, they're on the sides. And, and we're getting close. We're like, whoa, Kyle, look at the seals. And all of a sudden, these heads, you know, they're they're kind of like this into the air. And all of a sudden, they do this, and then bam, they do that. Okay, I remember, it was like, and they look straight at us. And I was scared. You know why I'm panicking? Because I've seen that clip on YouTube with the stupid orca that launches up into the air and crashes down on some kayaker and the guy, man, who knows if he lives or something. I don't care if it's fake, man. It looks real. <laughs> now, Russell is a killer seal and, and I named him Russell because, well, he, he was enormous. He looks like a, a walrus, okay, but he's still a seal, a killer seal. And so, so Russell pops his head about 15 feet up right in front of me, and I scream. I'm like a little girl, like, ah! Like, I am freaking out. Okay, I'm about ready to go, go, like, cut this guy, man. I mean, he's just scary, okay? And so anyways, Russell pops his head up, he looks right at me, and then he dives again. And at that point, I'm like, oh, man, it's, it's all man for yourself. Kyle, you're on your own, man. If, you, if you're in trouble, <laughs> I hope you can swim. If at any time during the day, if only I would have been smart. I would be motivated. I would have had yeah, my friend Sam. You know, if my friend Sam would have been there, we would have just, uh, we would have taken on this killer steel man. Russell, say goodbye, son. Say goodbye. So you might be saying, Brian, what's the point of this story? You know, why do you always tell stupid stories? Well, the point is this. Sometimes, things that think you think are a really good idea aren't really a good idea to get into in the first place. You know, sometimes things seem appetizing, they seem attractive, but then you get out there and you realize that you probably shouldn't be there. Now, maybe it's maybe it's attack of killer seals, or maybe it's not. Maybe it's something else. But I challenge you that when you're confronted with something that you feel is not right in your daily life, you know, at school or at home or wherever, maybe it's maybe it's watching something you know you shouldn't be watching, or or maybe it's uh, uh, doing something with some of your friends, a prank or something, or you're participating in gossip you know you shouldn't be doing. You got to turn around and get out of there. As soon as Kyle and I realized that these seals were these were really killer seals, we bolted to shore, man. We bolted to shore. So, I hope that you can bolt to shore this week.